Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're kicking off our mid-budget build series uh, deck for the red-green, uh, eventually to Teamer Elementals build. Um, so if you didn't catch it, we already put together the budget version of the deck, uh, which consisted of all commons and commons, uh, plus a free rekindling phoenix that you get, and the dual lands. Uh, so this is the mid-budget version. So like our other build series, with the mid-budget, we get to about 10 rares and mythics added to the deck. Um, in this case, it's a pretty easy swap. We're just upgrading our Planeswalkers and kind of fine-tuning our ramp package. So the main cards we're adding are our girl Chandra, uh, Baby Chandra, Big Chandra. So Baby Chandra uh, can put a loyalty on other, on each red Planeswalker we control. So could Domri and Chandra could get plus. But really, for the most part, we're using her for her second ability to create two one one elementals with haste it's really good against control to put pressure on your opponent uh, it does have the option for minus two that we can uh, basically flash back or snapcaster mage in a sense a uh, card in our graveyard uh, that's an instant or sorcery so it can let us recycle our shock or lightning strikes or our lava coils post board uh, we have domri anarcho bolus uh, gives it's an anthem for our creatures so it makes them stronger it could ramp us and prevents our creatures from being countered and its removal in the terms of fighting. Um, and then we're adding one more uh, Rekindling Phoenix um, in my main uh, competitive deck for ranked teamer uh, elementals. I play four of it uh, and we're playing four of the big Chandra. So this big Chandra is an amazing planeswalker. Can't be countered first off. Comes down, you can plus it for two, bring it up to eight loyalty, which is insanely high. It gives your opponent an emblem they, they can interact with that at the beginning of each upkeep it deals one damage to them and then you can start stacking these emblems as well which makes it even more uh, kind of pressure on your opponent to actually do something to get you um, the minus three deals three damage to each non-elemental so it's a one-sided uh, kind of board wipe in a sense um, and the minus X is basically targeted removal um, that exiles as well. So we could get rid of like Rekindling Phoenix or anything like that. Um, we went up to four Leaf Kindreds in this particular build because now we have stuff we want to ramp into. Basically, you want to try to get Chandra out as quick as possible. And then going to our four drops seems a little bit more relevant. Um, I cut the elemental that gains you life, cut like the, uh, the ones that steal, a couple of those other like uh, commons, uncommon ones. So and we went up two more lands in this particular build because our curve's a little higher. Uh, sideboard's pretty much the same. We're not going to really make updates here. Um, some of what we get is like blue-based. Uh, there is a card that you could consider um, if you're running into a lot of Esper uh, mid-range or like targeted removal. Um, forget the name. It's basically one of the color hate cards. Uh, M20, Veil of Summer. So basically it gives you Hexproof, they can't Thought Erasure you, they can't kill one of your creatures, and it cycles, so you draw a card off it. So that's uh, a pretty good card to consider as well if you're running into it. Um, but yeah, we'll try it out. Like we do with all the decks, I'll run it through uh, best of three a couple times, and uh, best of one. I'm going to play first uh, just a unranked. I just want to see if the numbers are right, and then we'll take it to ranked for the second match. So if you're new to the channel, tuning in for the first time, I'm MTG Joe. Um, I usually pre-record these build series videos that are more instructional, help you kind of build towards tier decks. I do go live on YouTube and Twitch uh, from time to time, so make sure to either subscribe on YouTube or follow on Twitch. Both are free, easy, and a great way to support the channel. Uh, if you have any recommendations for anything else you'd like to see out of M20 in terms of a build series, please drop a comment below. I'm thinking about doing blue-white flyers next. Um, once I finish this full series on the build, I'll do the full Reddit write-up. Uh, you can find it on the Arena subreddit. I detail everything in terms of the deck, why card choices were in place, the upgrades, um, and it's a good chance to just ask your fellow players what they kind of like, don't like, and it's a good kind of common talk. 
space. Um, so that's pretty much my pandering and info. Kind of land heavy, but I think we keep uh, more base red. So this is mono red. We're punished. Ooh, another land doesn't help. If we can start getting some em uh, elementals out, we have some good anthem effects. Okay, so it's mono red. They likely just drew the uh, firebrand this turn. Light up the stage. Yeah. So we probably lost this one just from the hand, I'm guessing, unless they kind of whiff on their end. If we get the Chandra's out, they'd be good. We also don't have... So here, we're a little far behind, not having an answer for Steamkin. I'm gonna concede this one. So probably a bad one to start off with. Uh, so in this matchup, I like the Tibbolts, I like the Lava Coils, and the Thrashing Brontodons coming out. The Scorch Spitters don't do anything this matchup. Uh, neither does the Scampering Scorcher. Cut down one Chandra. Cut down one of these. Two of these Chandras. And not as good. Actually, because this is a good board wipe. But I don't want to draw too many of them. So yeah, let's run it like this. Three mana Chandra has been really good against slower decks, mid-range that are playing more like one or two creatures because it could kind of keep putting pressure. Okay, sounds much better. So we're going to lead off with the mountain so we can shock their turn one play. That also turns them off wizard's retort. So they could blow a lightning strike here on us, which they do. I'm just going to try to ramp up. If they're spending their turns killing our things, it just gives us more time to draw into Chandra, mana for Chandra. So like on this board, the three mana Chandra would have been good. Full price Wizards Lightning. I'm honestly happy just drawing lines. Cool. Let's get rid of that before it gets out of hand. So we really want to see a land here. Perfect. So we can uptick on this one, but I actually want him to spend time dealing with this Chandra while we start putting emblems on them, just to put a clock on them. Spicy. 
So that brings it to five. Our rekindling phoenix was a nice draw there. And you can just see the improvement in this deck already by having the big Chandra. Um, I think we just block like that. So it's a little unfortunate that they had the Chain Whirler. I'm gonna get him to spend time this turn. So we need to decide... Ah. Frenzy's really rough for us. Probably just down tick the Chandra to clear out their board. They'll get to kill it with Rekindling Phoenix. Let's try to keep our life total high here. So if we minus this, it gets rid of the Phoenix. I think, think we need to do that. Slows them down quite a bit. So they got, shh, they can really go off this turn. They're taking three damage a turn. Chandra will be dead. Tybalt will at least create a blocker. Pretty much dead here. The amount of draws they have to hit a lightning strike is very high. Yeah, that does it. Alright, so we'll run it back. Uh, with this particular one, I think I'm just going to run another traditional play first. So what are you guys playing in uh, M20 standard thus far? Haven't got uh, too much in terms of like black white vampires or stuff like that. This hand does not do anything. This hand's much better. Um, I'm going to get rid of the second Leafkin. Don't think we need that. Temple.
I opened about 60 packs between like the 50 I bought. Okay, so wizards. Did not get a single Chandra. Um, here, I'm going to set it up like that. Allows us to Chandra next turn and shock the Stormkin. This does turn on Wizard's Lightning for them. We did play the budget uh, Blue Red Wizards deck. The version 2 is a lot better I found. Okay, so no spell pierce is good. We got a good amount of pressure on them now. We have shock and then flashback shock if they have like Adelies or something. Yeah. Um. So we can play Big Chandra. Shoot down their Adelies. So that's... Uh, I don't have enough. Oops, you need four for that. That's fine. Deal with their creatures. Fine, attack into Chandra again. And they chart, of course. Phoenix is very good. Yeah, that's just Phoenix's turn. Tormenting voice, discard tormenting voice. Their version of the decks. Ooh, that is good. So we can add the mana. Now we're we're short. Um. Just shock Adelies. We were short of red to be able to do it all. Here we just want to keep pressuring the opponent. If they want to waste like a burn spell, stuff like that, and attacking in, they're not getting that far ahead. We also have like Fry post board, which is good. And ideally, if we can win without showing the big Chandra, it'd be good. Opponent's thinking about it. Finalia Promise. Not sure how we lost a timeout if we have more time on the clock. Oh, it's a Phoenix build. Okay, so double Phoenix.
So we still need to land. Cool. Um, so we could deal three damage to each. Or you can just emblem them. Because it's pretty easy with the amount of cards they have in hand, I'm guessing, to get back these arc lights. We have a blocker anyways. Down ticking just to do minus two. Brings us to four. Just get rid of Phoenix. Doesn't feel that good. Post board with Lava Coil will be a lot better. Opponent is taking their time. Uh, triple Phoenix is bad. So that's six, eight. Yeah, so they deal with Chandra. Phoenix would be a good, yeah, and they have the shock. Acolyte isn't the worst. So at the very least, this forces them to attack two into Chandra. We really just want to try to draw this game out a couple more turns. That's nine. 11, Exaxes, Exaxes. All right. So we thought we were playing against Wizards, turned out to be Phoenix. Uh, so in this matchup, Fry's probably mediocre. The Lava Coils are good. And I think that's it. Scampering Scorcher doesn't do much. Uh, this is, this at least trades with a flyer and it can be fought. Probably just shave down two of these. Run it back like this. The big payoff is within Teamer because you get Risen Reef and Omnath, which really kind of just are a draw engine slash pump your team slash removal ramp all in one nice package I do like our chances post board a little bit more just having the lava coils uh we'll keep this i think at this point we just want to see some lines So we'll lead on shock. Okay. So they blow a shock there.
Just start throwing the pressure down. Trailblazer works nicely with Chandra because it makes her attack for four each turn. It's fine. Now we can really just hold back. We can kill their creatures as they come in. As you try to go for big Chandra. Perfect. Opponent's missing lands. We're pressuring them nicely. There's another five points of burn here if needed. Sweet. So I'm going to do this first in case they have something like Spell Pierce. Actually, this can't be countered. So we're presenting at least three damage a turn right now that gets amplified by Chandra. Yeah. That was a great turn. Uh, no reason to not run it back. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna mulligan this. I like to keep pressure. Yeah, I think we do this. A bunch of removal without pressure doesn't really do much. Have that enter tapped. Um, so they are going a little bit slower. No shock there is good. Burning Lava Coil there is fine for us, rather that than like Phoenix. Crackling Drake. So that's got Lava Coil written all over it. Cool. So. Naturally drawing into Chandra, we have an answer to like a Phoenix if need be. Content with the amount of lands we have now, so I'd like to draw into something else. So I'm going to take the hit for two and then wait for them to react. Okay, that's good. You want to make sure they tap out first because they could have done it in response. Okay. Domri's fine here. If anything, it's a distraction for them. Saves us four life. Okay. 
Content with the amount of lines we have. Oh! Misplay, misplay, I forgot these were elementals. Uh, Chandra's minus doesn't hit at elementals. Should have known better. Misplay. All right, let's play a best of one. Ah, that one hurt. <laughs> Reading your cards sometimes. It's the best competitive advantage in Magic. Uh, keep this hand. Lead on the mountain. Alright, so in this matchup, Mono White it looks like. Just go Ember Cat. Could ramp us into the Scorcher next turn, which would be good against the Mono White deck. No blocks here. So we're just going to play defensive. They can flip the Legion's Landing, but it's going to cost them their board. So we can do this. Play a line tapped. I think we just keep playing defensive. With us going wide too, we can drop a trailblazer next turn. Uh, Gideon's a bit of a, a hassle. Big Chandra would be the best draw. Wipes their board and allows us to kill Gideon. That was a pretty solid play for the opponent. Uh, little Chandra doesn't do much here. We're going to do this to attack into Gideon. So 
so they can block two of them if they want to keep Gideon alive. Go like that. So they're actually blocking the one that's going to go away, anyways, which is good for us. So that was a pretty good turn for us. They'll attack in for a bunch now, but the, the Trailblazer makes these blocks a lot more profitable. Like, just stick this in front of here. They might also overvalue Chandra. So we're just going to trade the board. Lightning strikes nice. So that'll keep it tapped down. They'll block. I want to hold this light uh, lightning strike in case they get like an anthem. Like a Benelish Marshal, something like that. Because the next turn we could flash back the Lightning Strike as well. I'm fine trading here. See what they're doing. I think that's a good trade for us. So they tap down there, that's fine. Same idea. This is actually pretty good because it gives us a 1-3, which can block their entire board. So Chandra's always go to the left, good to remember.
So they push through some damage there. I think we're going to have to lightning strike this and then flash back the lightning strike. So I need to do this so we can actually keep this up as a blocker. Cat's pretty good. Get rid of Sky Marcher. No attacks this turn. So now we're punished. I tried to be patient. With that lightning strike. Okay, shock. Shock is certainly good for us. So they'll probably block. They don't block. All right. I was hoping they'd block. Chandra's done her part. Uh, we're dead. Technically, could a lightning strike that, but they make five power. Yeah, it's pretty much dead. So that's pretty much the mid-budget version. Uh, the next one up, we'll be playing a Teamer Elemental deck, which is the deck I'm playing in Ranked right now. Uh, thanks for those who tuned in. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.